Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. <tries> zata da yana haila dan kwata kwata a ƙarshen rayuwar ta kenan wanda kamar da nayi bayani a darasi wanda ya gabata darussa goman farko insha Allah za su yi bayani akan abin da ya shafi mace mai lafiya sannan darussa goman ƙarshe za su yi bayani akan matsalolin mata amma wannan ba zai hana ba idan mutun yana da tambaya ba a discussion forum din mu ya aje tambayar sa insha Allah za mu amsa masa tambayar sa to kamar kullun ni Abdul Hakim Bashir Musa zan gabatar sannan Khairu Umma Academy ta dauki nauyin kawo muku a darasi na baya mun yi bayani akan abin da ake nufi da Haila kwanakin da Haila take dauka sannan kuma da stages ko faces da mace kambi dukkan wata tun daga menstrual phase ta shiga follicular phase ovulation sannan kuma ta kare a luteal phase sannan a sake zagayowa duk mun yi wannan bayanin sannan a darasin mu na yau insha Allah za mu tattauna akan abin da ake kira ovaries ma'ana jakar da take dauke da kwayayen mace sannan za mu tattauna akan sinadaran estrogen da progesterone kamar yadda muke bayani a darasin mu na farko darasi na daya mun ce nan da nan sune ovaries wanda sune primary sex organs gabobin mace sune manya manya a gabobin mace da suka shafi haihuwa dukkan sauran wata gaba da ta shafi haihuwa a bayan ovaries suke saboda idan babu ovaries to duka sauran gabobin amfanin su da musamman mahaifa to menene amfanin su ovaries din nan ovaries suna da amfani manya manya guda uku na farko shine samar da kwai a tsakiyar menstrual cycle a daidai period na oval cycle na ovulation kenan a wannan lokacin sukan samar da kwan mace wanda zai ji hado da kwan namiji domin a samu fertilization ai samu implantation da sauran su sannan amfanin sa na biyu shine samar da sinadarin estrogen wanda muka yi bayanin cewa sinadarin estrogen da kuma sinadarin progesterone wadannan sinadarai guda biyu sukan taka rawa sosai wajen gina jikin mace ta yi kama da mace sannan wajen kula da mahaifarta da kuma kula da cikin ta idan ta samu ciki wanda insha Allah za mu yi bayanin estrogen din da progesterone da kuma samuwar kwai din to idan aka tambaya su ovaries a ina suke na farko dai dukkan mace suna da ovaries guda biyu daya a dama daya a hawo sannan ovaries suppa suna da suffa kalan kamar balambalan wace aka hu ba irin kahatuwar balambalan ba irin madaidaciya ai karama suna da wannan suffar sannan Uh, kamar yadda na fada akwai daya a dama akwai daya a hagu sannan a jikin mace anatomically a likitance suna cikin wani waje da ake kira ovarian fossa a cikin marar mace sannan su kusan ba a jikin sauran gabobin mace suke ba a, suna dai kusa da fimbrae na fallopian tube anan ba a jikin shi suke ba wasu jijiyoyi ne da ake kira ligament wasu jijiyoyi ne suka dake shi kamar an yi hangin din shi ovaries kenan 
to in aka tambaya mai overs suke kamar a baya mun dauko wannan bayanin overs su kan saki kwai sannan kuma su kan saki suna da rai wanda za mu bayani insha Allah to ci gaba da an sa tambayar mu mai overs suke da farko a cikin kwalwa akwai bangaren da ake cewa hypothalamus shi hypothalamus wani bangare ne a cikin kwakwalwa yakan aika sako zuwa ga gonadotropin releasing hormone idan ya aika sako zuwa nan zai ga mishi cewa to a tabo pituitary gland shi kun pituitary gland zai tabo abin da ake cewa luteinizing hormone luteinizing hormone zai taba follicle stimulating hormone wanda kamar da muka yi bayani a darasi na biyu follicle stimulating hormone shi yake aiki akan uh, ovaries a lokacin uh, a lokacin menstrual cycle a daidai lokacin ovulation kenan a daidai lokacin follicular phase kai da follicular phase a daidai lokacin ovulation follicle stimulating hormone zai tabo ovaries zai tsokano su yace to lokaci yayi da za a saki kwai da aka cycle din yana fara ne tunda kokolwa idan lokacin hayla din yayi ko lokacin cycle din ovulation yayi hypothalamus za ta taba gonadotropin releasing hormone shi kuma ya taba pituitary gland daga nan luteinizing hormone sai kuma follicular follicle stimulating hormone shi kuma follicle stimulating hormone zai aiki akan ovaries to kuma ovaries za su yi releasing din shi kwan na mace su uh, ovaries suna sakin kwai a tsakiyar kowane cycle kamar yadda muka yi bayani kowane cycle averagely yakan dauki kwana 14 wanda a cikin kwana 28 kai afwan wanda a tsakiyar wannan kwana 28 din wa'ana rana ta 14 muka ce yawanci shi yake yin daidai da lokacin ovulation lokacin da ake sakin kwai da aka ovaries suna sakin kwai a tsakiyar uh, kowane cycle ma'ana a daidai lokacin ovulation kenan sannan mu sani cewa kowace mace sabanin namiji wanda ake haihuwar shi daga ya balaga zai iya ta sakin kwai mani kwayan cikin mali har mutuwar shi in dai ba wata matsala ta ratso ba amma ita mace ana haifota ne da kwayayanta wanda a farko sukan kai kusan kwai miliyan biyu wanda a lokacin ba su nuna ba wanda with time a hankali a with time a hankali a hankali za su rika rage yawan su suna kara nuna suna rage yawan suna kara nuna a lokacin da mace ta kai balaga suna raguwa zuwa kamar 300 zuwa 400 kwayayen nata to daga kuma ta balaga daga balagar ta kuma zuwa menopause duka bai fi kwai 400 zuwa 500 ba suke samun damar su nuna su samu damar da za a iya fitar da su daga ovaries ba sannan wannan kwai 400 zuwa 500 din su kadai ne suke iya samun damar fertilization to amma ko su din to duk wata tana haida za a ita zubar da su wasu na mutuwa wasu suna fita wasu suna mutuwa wasu suna fita har dai Allah ya sa ga iya wadanda za ta yi amfani da su a rayuwarta kun ga kenan da Allah zai ba mace damar ta haifi duka kwayayanta a ce daga lokacin ta balaga ma kadai ga za a ce kowace za ta haifi kamar ayaya a kalla ba ta yi hudaya ba dai a ce ayaya 200 a ga mata duka goma kai za su iya cika Kano kenan to mu ci gaba da rasun mu wannan wani hoto ne dake nuna rayuwar kwan har zuwa ovulation daga nan muna da ovum din kwan wanda yana girma graphian follicle ayi hakuri da yanayin hoto wanda graphian follicle zai zo ya zaga yi wannan kwan a hankali zai ci gaba da girma yana girma in ya kai daidai wannan girman lokacin ovulation sai graphian follicle din nan sai ya fashe sai kwan ya samu damar fita bayan ya fita zai bari ta wannan jakar wanda a karshe ta ce take koma corpus luteum wanda za ta ci gaba da samuwar da sanadarin progesterone idan an samu ciki idan kuma 
ba samu cikin ba wannan ko fasulutin da zai ci gaba da kankancewa a hankali a hankali har ya zaman to babu shi to wannan kusan bayanin da nayi a bayan akwai kwayaye a cikin follicles kamar yadda muka yi bayani 400 zuwa 500 kowanne na cikin follicle din shi a hankali a hankali follicle din nan zai kara girma yana girma su kuma follicles din za su rika samar da estrogen daga farko follicles su estrogen suke samarwa corpus luteum shine zai samar da progesterone amma anan follicles za su bayan sun girma za su rika samar da estrogen sannan da an zo daidai lokacin ovulation uh, ovary zai fitar da kwai bayan ya fitar da kwai abin da ya rage zai zama corpus luteum wanda shi zai ci gaba da samar da estrogen da progesterone idan an samu ciki ba samu ciki ba corpus luteum zai rika rage girma har zuwa lokacin da zai bace to idan kwan mace ya hado da mani na miji za a samu ciki kamar yadda nayi bayani corpus luteum zai ci gaba da aikin sa na samar da progesterone idan kuma ba su hado ba sai shi corpus luteum din ya lalace ya daina samar da sinadara don haka sai endometrium ya tattare a fitar da shi a lokacin hayla idan zan saki bayani idan kwan mace da kwan na miji bayan an yi saki kwan mace ya hado da kwan na miji asalin jakar da suke ciki banda ovaries wannan follicle din zai zama corpus luteum zai ci gaba da fitar da wannan sinadaran progesterone da estrogen amma ya fitar da progesterone idan kuma ba a samu wannan haduwar ba to shi corpus luteum din zai tsotse ya zama ya bace a ƙarshe baka bayan ya bace ciki ya fahimci cewa to yanzu ba a bukatar wannan shin fada din saboda ba a samu ma ya fakai za ta fahimci cewa ba a bukatar endometrium saboda ba a samu ciki ba don haka za ta tattare wannan endometrium din ta yi watsi da shi sai a ce kuma mace ta shiga hayla ko ta fara hayla to sai tambaya ta gaba shi da wannan sinadarai ovary da yake samar wanda wani mun riga mun san su su ne estrogen da progesterone wannan dukan suna da muhimmanci wajen shirya mahaifa don daukar ciki da kuma da shan kwai sannan kuma suna taimaka wajen rike cikin har zuwa lokacin da Allah zai sa a haife shi to nan za mu yi bayani akan amfanin estrogen na daya estrogen kamar yadda muka fadi ovary suke releasing din shi bayan ya releasing din shi estrogen na taimaka wajen girman ovarian follicle wanda ovarian follicle din shine yake dauke da kwan mace kowane kwai daya yana cikin follicle daya kwai daya follicle daya kwai daya follicle daya na ka estrogen shi yake zabar wani kwai ne zai girma towards uh, uh, ta gaba da yake nan sannan abu na biyu uh, estrogen yana taimaka wajen girman mahaifa da kuma girman endometrium saboda girman mahaifa da girman endometrium suna taimakawa wajen daukar cikin da zaman shi idan mace ta balaga dole mai fatta ta fi wacce bata balaga ba girma saboda wacce ta balaga ta shirya daukar ciki da haka dole mai fatta ta kare girma sannan uh, shi estrogen yana aiki akan fallopian tube wajen kara mucus mun yi bayanin mucus ina ga daresi na daya wanda muka ci wannan mucus din wani ruwa ne mai kauri mai santsi kamar majina haka wanda shi yake taimakawa wajen tafiyar kwai idan ya fito daga ovaries da motsin cikin fallopian tubes din da kuma samuwar shi wannan uh, mucus din zai taimaka wajen tafiyar kwai har zuwa ga mayafa sannan wannan mucus din yana dauke da sinadaran da za su ciyar da wannan kwan abinci har zuwa lokacin da zai isa ga mayafa din sai abu na gaba yana taimakawa farjin mace wajen yakar kwayoyin cuta shi estrogen kenan saboda yana kara yawan mucus shi kuma yawan mucus din yana zama kamar shin fida ga mayafar ya hana kwaya cuta ta ratsa ga bangon farji sannan estrogen yana taimaka wajen fitar da gashi a sassan mace har mata gashin kanta din gashin gaba da sauran su sannan estrogen abun mamaki yana taimaka mace wajen laushin fata 
da kuma san tsin fatar ta in ka shafa fatar mace lokacin tana yarinya ba ta balaga ba da kuma san da ta balaga zaka ji akwai bambancin san tsin fata da kuma laushi sannan wasu ke na taimaka wajen siffar jikin mace wajen samar da siffar jikin mace girman mama girman kugu da shep na hips din ta da sauran su da kuma girman kashin kogon ta saboda shiryawa daukar ciki sannan kuma yana taimaka wajen canjin muryar ta ta koma murya wanda bature ke cewa low pitch murya wace murya mai kara ba katuwar murya ba murya ce siririya amma mai kara high pitch murya da dai sauran amfani na shi estrogen din sannan muka dauki progesterone shi ma daga cikin amfanin shi ne yana taimaka wajen kula da ciki idan ya samu kamar ne bayani a baya idan kwai ya fita daga cikin ovarian follicle ko graafian follicle ya kan bar wannan follicle din wanda shi yake koma corpus luteum shi kuma corpus luteum muka ce zai cigaba da fitar da progesterone yana fitar da wannan progesterone din ne wadan taimakawa ciki ya zauna idan ba samu ciki ba kuma progesterone ba zai samu ba amma idan an samu ciki progesterone yana taimaka wajen kula da shi ciki din sannan progesterone yana kara yawan mucus kamar yadda estrogen ke kara yawan mucus a fallopian tubes progesterone shi ma yana taimaka wajen karin mucus a cikin fallopian tubes din domin ciyar da kwai abinci kafin ya isa ga mahaifa sannan progesterone yana taimaka endometrium ko shin fidar ma ya famu tuka wajen ganin cewa ta kula da kanta sannan kuma ta kula da dan ko kwanda zai zo kanta ya dasa kai shi sannan progesterone sanadin progesterone yana hana maniyi wucewa ta cervix saboda zai rage girman kofar cervix da kuma yawan mucus din da ke wajen da aka duk maniyin da ya to a lokacin da mace ke ciki in ya taho ba zai samu dama wucewa ba balanta na ya je ya hadu da kwai ba a sake samun ciki kan ciki ba inda aka progesterone zai hana wannan maniyin wucewa ta cervix sannan progesterone yana taimaka yana hana luteinizing hormone yawo don haka ciki ba zai samu ba abin da nake nufi a nan shine initial a farko luteinizing hormone yana taimakawa ne wajen samuwar ciki to amma bayan an samu cikin progesterone zai hana shi wannan luteinizing hormone din aiki dan haka ba za a samu ciki kan ciki ba to ma sauraron mu a wannan darasi mun yi bayani akan ovaries inda suke da kuma amfanin su sannan muka yi bayani akan sinadaran estrogen da progesterone sannan da kowanne kuma da rawar da yake takawa a darasi na gaba insha Allah za mu yi bayani akan a fertilization mana haduwar kwan namiji da kwan mace sannan kamar kullun kan mai tambaya ko neman ba da shawara ko a mu maka mace wannan zai iya zuwa ga discussion forum din mu ya rubuta tambayar sa ba insha Allah za mu ansa masa haka duk mai shawara ma zai iya zuwa nan ya ba mu shawara kuma insha Allah mu gaisa da wannan muka zo karshen wa darasi na uku da aka nake cewa wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh